Yo guys, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be downloading SQL Server. So now I'm just going to search it because, you know, URLs change all of the time. <laughs> we're going to be using SQL Server 2016, but we're going to be looking for the Microsoft.com website. And then here's the URL as of now. And then we go to Downloads. Now here we are shown different versions of SQL Server, and the one we're going to be looking for is Developer Edition. And what this is, is a fully featured free edition, so that means we can do everything. Now, if you want to actually do this in production, you might want to consider the Express Edition. And that one is a, basically a slimmed down version, but the benefit of that is that it's free for production. So, obviously we're just learning, so I'm going to go with the Developer Edition. Now it's going to ask you to sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have one, it's really easy to make one, so I'm not going to go through that whole process. Alright, so we're here. Now when it's your first time opening this app, you'll have to agree to kind of like a license agreement or whatever in order to join Visual Studio Dev Essentials. Now I already did that, so it's not showing that for me. Essentially, that's going to give you access to all of these panels here. But the one we are most interested in is Microsoft SQL Server. So we're going to click download on that. That's going to start the download. All right, let's open that. Yes. Now, of course, you're going to be presented with even more options. <laughs> we'll go with basic just because, you know, that's the easiest one. But <laughs> if you want, you can customize things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Whatever. I totally read that. Yep. And there we go. Now it's going to start downloading a bunch of junk. Just let it do its thing and come back in a little bit. All right, so it's done. Now they're actually working on a release of SQL Server that works on Linux and Mac OS. So if you guys want to give that a try, I would encourage you to do that and let me know how it goes. And all of this stuff that popped up is pretty important. So I'm going to actually copy all of that. And I'll just use a tool known as the snipping tool. Shablam. And then you can just save that. It says a restart is required, but basically everything is installed. Down here it says install SSMS, and that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. But for now, let's click this connect now button. And you can see here we are now connected to our database. So I think we can do stuff like select 5 plus 5, for example, and then type in go. There we go. Uh, but I don't really like working with the database in this command prompt kind of thing. So I'm going to be installing a visual tool. Now we're still going to be learning SQL. I'm just going to be typing the SQL inside of this visual tool. So I'm not teaching you guys the, the cheating method, doing everything visually. <laughs> we're going to learn SQL in this series. We're just going to be typing it into a different tool known as SSMS or SQL Server Management Studio. So that's what we're going to be talking about in the next video. Be sure to check that out, guys. If you've liked this series so far, please be sure to click like, subscribe, and, you know, uh, share it with all your friends and everything like that. Thanks, guys.